here at the Apache Software Foundation. Um, I'm involved in a few projects, including sort of community development. And one of the projects that I'm involved in is Apache Kibble. Um, now, uh, a few years ago, I actually uh, went back to study. Um, and one of the things that we needed to do as part of the study, this uh, program, was to come up with uh, some topics for uh, the paper. Talk of her. Was to come up with some topics for. Uh, uh, to write about in the, as part of the uh, sort of uh, the course evaluation, and I'd been involved with uh, the Apache Software Foundation for quite a while, and I realised there was not a lot of uh, uh, information or research or whatever was done around the foundation. So I thought, well, okay, I'll choose a topic uh, around the, the foundation. And one of the key things that they promote a lot in the Apache Software Foundation is the culture, the Apache way. So I thought, well, why don't I have a look at uh, culture and see? Um, if I can measure it. Because if you think about culture, it's about uh, what we believe in, but it's also about what we, what we do. So there's behavioral aspects to it. And if you do something, then there's an impact. So therefore, there's a chance that you might be able to, to measure it. And the belief with, within the foundation is that the Apache way is so ingrained in the foundation that I thought that there should be some essence of it in how we interact, in how we communicate, in what we do. So therefore, um, I looked for uh, some indicators that would help me, because there are some aspects of the Apache Software Foundation culture, such as meritocracy, uh, welcoming, and things like this, that I thought, well, actually, we can maybe look and see what we can find that could indicate this. So one of the things I came up with was uh, five indicators that I was going to look at. Oh, I forgot to mention Apache Kibble. So for those of you who don't know what Apache Kibble is, it's a, um, like an aggregator for uh, uh, community stats. So a while ago, uh, the foundation was using a software called uh, Snoot to find out, uh, to gain metrics on various projects. And this, pro this, uh, this company do uh, donated the software to Apache, and that became Apache Kibble. So this, we have the source code for all the, um, the metrics that, were, that we were running uh, previously around the community. So it aggregates information about uh, the contributors, it aggregates, the, it does sentiment analysis, sentiment analysis. it does uh, contributor uh, details, it uh, pulls in detail from your issue tracker, etc. So anyway, don't, don't want to advertise, uh, do an advert for Apache Kibble, I'm just, I want to talk about uh, what I used it for. So. Um, I found uh, five indicators, or I chose five indicators uh, from, uh, from Apache Kibble. One of them was uh, the pony factor. Um, I think you maybe referred to it as a bus factor. And this is the sort of like um, the sort of minimum number of people that it would, it would take to sort of kill off to, to make the project die effectively. So if you have um, a, a you know, four, four or five key people in your project, if they were no longer there, then your project will decline and probably die. And we, we call it the pony factor. There seems to be something around ponies in, in the patch. We have pony males, we have pony factor. But this is what it is. And the sort of calculation is sort of like, you know, what's the, how many people is it that make up, say, 50% of your code base? So those people that are putting in the big contributions. So and that's the number that we use. We also um, can look at the contributor experience. You know, when you look at communities and the sort of evaluation, evolution, how, you know, how long have people been involved with the community? Are there new people coming in? Are they actually um, sort of evolving or, or, or evol ev know, evolution, moving into sort of longer term co contributors? Um, we look at sentiment analysis, so you know, what's the mood of communication? Yeah, are there a lot of discussion and arguments? Or is it generally positive? And we can look at that over time. And one of the other things that we, uh, we, ha we have there is a key, fa key phrase extraction. So when you look at the communication, you can sort of look at the key phrases that the community is using. And these are the important things. So if there's any cultural language, then you can use the key phrase extraction to pull out or highlight this cultural language. OK, so, so let's, let's, let's get started. So uh, before I start, right, one of the things I um, wanted to show you was uh, Apache uh, uh, HTTP server. So, when you think of Apache, Apache was formed based on this one project, right? So the culture of Apache comes from this one project. Everything that Apache is today came from this this project. So what I did, I thought, well, 
if I look at the web server and I try and create a baseline of what the web server looks like, well then surely all the other projects that have sort of evolved from the adopted the Apache way culture should look pretty similar, right? Wrong. Anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. So anyway, so um, one of the things I did was I said, right, let's look at the pony factor for uh, the web server over time. And I looked at this and I thought, this looks really, really weird. And there's three sort of uh, tracks on the on, that we have on Kibble for the, bus, for the pony factor. One is the pony factor of the contributors. So the number of contributors that are making up uh, over 50% of uh, the, uh, the code base. Then we look at the, the pony factor for the committers, because we can differentiate between the two. So then you can see whether or not it's just the committers that are contributing rather than new people coming in. And this is important because, you know, part of it is about being welcoming and being attractive and wanting new people to come in and contribute it in a, in a significant way. And if this isn't happening, this is really important for you to sort of look at. And look at, and the third one, which is, uh, in, in, uh, is around, we call the mega pony factor. And this is around trying to measure the different types of organizations that are involved in uh, in the, uh, in, 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 the, in the project. So um, the pony factor that we have, we have it over the code, we have it over the email, and we have it over the uh, issue tracker as well. But I've just extracted the one for the code base. And I looked at it and I thought, this looks really, really weird, because it's like the pony factor for the code, for the contributors, is exactly the same as the, as the pony factor for the uh, committers. So that's say, telling me, hold on, you know, there's no new contributors coming in. But then I looked at it and I thought, well, hold on, uh, HTTP server is an old project and it was actually done on SVN and we, for, for Kibble, we're using Git to pull in, we're doing the, the Apache mirroring into the Git repositories to pull in the detail. So actually, looking at the data now, it's telling us one thing, but then when you look at it, when you think about it, you think, well, okay, if it was done with SVN, then only the, only the committers could merge it anyway, so therefore, this is a bit like a, a false reading. You see? So this is, this is something. So then what I did as well was I wanted to compare, you know, so here's, an, here's the old original project, and let's have a look at some new projects. So we have uh, incubation, incubator, where projects that want to join the foundation come in. And this is where we teach them about the sort of the, the governance that we have at the foundation, we teach them about the Apache way and, and what it means. So therefore, what we want to do really, or what I was looking for was to say, right, okay, here's, a, here's some projects that came into Apache, they don't know anything about our culture, and now, Throughout incubation, they're going to maybe sort of move or, or, or demonstrate some attributes of the culture that we're trying to embed in them. And, and, and when you look at, and so I, I sort of selected at random sort of six projects that have been uh, incubating in the foundation for less than 24 months. And so I sort of highlighted here the sort of, the sort of time frame that we're looking at. So this is that they existed on, they had their own Git repositories beforehand, but this is around the area time this time forward that they actually came into, into incubation. And you can see, you know, looking at the, so the blue line is the pony factor of the contributors. So you can see that, you know, there was a bit of a stall there. And maybe this could be one of the reasons why they, they decided to come to Apache, because sometimes projects come to Apache to build their communities. Um, you can see also as well that, that the pony factor of the committers, the, blue, the red one, is actually going down. So what that means is that the committers were being less and less active on the project. So this is another maybe a reason why you know they thought hey come to Apache we can actually build a community build it. And the third one was uh, the the, the metapony factor which is about organisations. But I'm not so sure that that is as accurate as we wanted to be. So I, I, I put that aside. So I'll just focus on the pony factor for the committership and the um, and the contributions. And you can see that there's some sort of like a well I've got a point at it here. So here you see that it's tracking and this difference. And one of the things that I wanted to look for was as the contributions go up, that the actual commissorship goes up as well. And it's sort of, because effectively what this means is that when if they're going up in parallel, that some of these contributors are actually being converted into committers. It could be that the committers are, the committers from here, that were here, were, were, that were active up here, were actually less active, became more active, but the more likely scenario is that the committers, the, the, the contributors, are being converted into, into committers. And for that, in, in, in the party terms, is recognition of merit. So if you do something that is good for the community, then being made a committer, whether or not it's to do with code or to do, 
doing event management or documentation, that's recognising that merit. The next one I wanted to look at was around contributor experience. So we can have a look at, this is HTTP server, and when you look at this, you can see like, okay, there's maybe 19% or just over 19% of the people have been, in, uh, have been there for less than a year. There's uh, some people that have been there two to five years. And there's some people that most of the people in that project have been on that project for more than five years. Right? What you don't see here, you don't see any, you, there's no progression of one to two years. So, so, so then you can see, well, hold on, you know, is there, a, is there a reason why people are not progressing between the, the, the years? And also as well, maybe this could maybe do to link into the, what was the growth maturity and divide, decline, the sort of evolution. You can see that the, you know, the, the actual experience of the people is going up and now it's start, started to slip a little. So it's, this is maybe another talk from another time. But anyway, so this is, this is uh, the active people, the people that are being retained, some of the people that have left, and some of the people that have come back. So we can track with the, with the communication some of the, 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 uh, this, this traffic. So once again, comparing that to some of the incubating projects. And once again, you look at the contributor experience, how long they've been involved with the project. And uh, uh, you expect this, it's a new project. You know, the, the bulk of the people are being in there for less than a year, you know? And the, lead, the lowest number of people have been there for more than five years. I mean, some of the people have been involved in the project before it came to Apache, but we can still track that. And you can see the evolution of less than a year, one to two years, two to five years, more than five years. So there seems to be a nice sort of like flow going through the contributors moving, moving from one to the other. And once again, you can track this as well over time. So here you see that the active people is going up, which is really good because this is what you want. So is this an indication that the community is welcoming and happily accepts new contributors? So this is something to, to, to look at as well. So one of the other things that I did was uh, look at the, the mood and the sentiment analysis. So I ran it over the uh, um, HTTP server. And one of the things that, were, it, although the, the overall mood was, was, was positive, one of the things I thought here, I thought, look, this is quite significant. This is negativity. But hold on, why, why would negativity be that high? And I think maybe, this is, my, this is just my thought, you know, it's a mature project. And also as well, you know, people can be quite uh, strong in, their, in the way they, they uh, communicate, about, I think this and that. So maybe the negativity is caused through that. But we have the mood over time. And we can actually track all the different moods that are being uh, uh, expressed. And we can see, you know, round about here, this was a pretty low. And we have, actually have the date of round about when it happened. So we can actually drill down into the mailing list for, these, for this project and see what were they talking about around here? What was it that's caused this dip? Similarly, here, this is a, a peak of sadness. Something happened around about this time. <laughs> not, not the big one, this middle of the one. <laughs> so something happened on the mailing list around about this time that indicated this sadness uh, sentiment. So this was a nice, this is a nice tool. We haven't, I haven't sort of, my next, I, I think my next thing would be to sort of like jump into this. Okay. Right, so let's look at the mood over time of the, the, the incubating project. And you can see, and this was, this was unexpected as well, is that it started, the, the negativity is a, a bit lower. It started a very, very positive, but it's actually going down. So what, what is happening? Is this, the, is, this, is this as a result of the projects dealing with the, the, the uh, governance, dealing with the Apache way, dealing with something, dealing with the, with the re releases? But once again, you can go into the mailing list and have a look and see what is causing these sentiments. So this was quite interesting. So then the last piece that I looked at was around key phrase extraction. And one of the things that we have, uh, that we use a lot in Apache, is what we call our consensus indicator. And the consensus indicator is this thing up here. I don't know if you can see it, it's a plus one. So normally what that means is, if somebody has an idea and they say, hey, I think this would be a, I'd like to do this, the response normally is plus one, yeah, I agree, I am happy, or minus one, or you know, zero neutral. But normally, if you, you agree or you want to help, it's plus one. And this came, and okay, you see, maybe see some people's names in there as well, but you know, this, these are the key phrases that are coming out for HTTP server. And this consensus indicator was created there, so you expect to see it there. This is the 
uh, key phrase extraction for the incubating projects. So I say less than the, the, the t uh, two years. So normally, I would, I, I would, I'm guessing, but I, I suspect that you know, not everybody understands or uses this plus one. But one of the things that I did find in these projects is at a, at a lower, a lower level. But here it is again, the consensus indicator. So. To me, that is showing that, at least from a cultural language perspective, something is being transmitted through the incubation process that's allowing them to, to, say, to use that language as part of their everyday and, uh, communication on the mailing list. And we are being able to, to pull it all out. Okay, we have people's names as well who are whatever. Um, but I, when I saw that, when I did my paper, I was really, really excited because I, wasn't, I didn't know what I was going to get. And, and, and to see that was really, really quite exciting. And that was uh, a key thing that I, uh, I put, in, uh, put in my paper. So, so, just, um, so what did we find, so in summary? Um, we found that nothing really matches completely. Because, you know, I expected to create a baseline from uh, the web server and then, you know, match people, match the projects on top of it. But that didn't happen. Actually, I found some more questions to ask, some more investigations to do. Um, and looking at these five indicators, I mean, maybe they might, there may be more, but these ones seem to be a good start. You know, the bus factor, the uh, contributed experience, retention, um, segment analysis, and the key phrase extraction. So as a, as a start, I think these are quite interesting ones to be able to use to at least maybe sort of try and identify some of the aspects of the culture that you're trying to uh, embed in, the, in your project. So that's, all, that's my talk today and uh, if you uh, have any questions then I'm happy to uh, answer them. And I've also included a link to uh, the two papers that I wrote in the presentation. So one is uh, around uh, just cultural analysis where I did uh, an um, analysis of projects that have been within uh, Apache under five years and over five years and looked at those compared with the, the web server. The second paper was around uh, a similar sort of thing, but I wanted to look at things of uh, projects that have come from a different culture. So we have quite a few uh, Chinese initiated projects in Apache now. So I did an analysis of the Chinese initiated projects that came through incubation. Some of the projects that didn't go through incubation, because we do have some, and plus the web server. So I did a bit of a ma mismatch, or well not mismatch, but a match. Of, of those as well, and that had some different conclusions, especially around the mood, and the sentiment analysis, the mood analysis was very sort of subdued. But anyway, so if anybody wants to have a look at those papers, I've included the links for those in the presentation as well. Okay, so happy to take any questions. <laughs> okay, one question. <laughs> yes. Uh, so among the five metrics you proposed, I was wondering what about another one, the contributor attraction. So the, you have contributor retention. Yeah. What about contributor attraction, the ability to attract new persons in the community? Okay, but well, we we don't we don't currently have it in in, in Kibble. But if we can define what it will look like, then we we're quite happy to to incorporate it. So if you if you maybe we can have a, a chat afterwards and we can maybe sort of put something down. So yeah yeah let's have a look at that. Okay. Well, thank you very much for showing this. <laughs> Kibble is always a good partner project, mm. and I love the collaboration that we have between Chaos and Kibble. Mm. Thank you very much for the talk. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.